this project, uh, this is uh, in the, uh, the course uh, data-driven marketing. We have two goals. Uh, first one, uh, this is that our students, uh, they learn which data that they can use. And second goal, uh, this is what we want our uh, students to uh, learn the hands-on, uh, to develop uh, their hands-on skills. That is to say, to use techniques, uh, to use uh, approaches, to use tools, uh, so as we can analyze in the objective of the marketing making decision process. My academic background, this is statistics and business. This is, uh, I enjoy using uh, statistics uh, in marketing, uh, more quantitative, I focus on uh, quantitative marketing. Generally, before I come to ESP, I don't have so much idea about how to use AI, especially ChatGPT. And after I come to ESP, especially now I'm a foreign student in Europe, I use ChatGPT first for my administration, all kind of problem and help me guide all of the procedures in Europe and also for all of the study things. So it's quite useful for me. And uh, for now, it's already like uh, almost a year for me using ChatGPT or AI, etc. AI is just a tool that we can use and uh, our mission as professors, uh, this is to uh, teach our students, to teach them uh, how to use AI as a tool for decision making. We have different sessions. Each session is uh, specific uh, for a specific topic uh, and then uh, we use uh, AI uh, so as we can apply in a workshop. Uh, so we create small groups uh, and in small groups uh, they uh, work, students work uh, on a data set that AI can collect uh, directly uh, from uh, digital uh, sources. You are going to work and using ChatGPT for this session focusing on new product development and the A-B testing. And what we're going to do, you are going to use ChatGPT on a real example case study using ChatGPT on an A-B testing. We give them a brief, the original one. What would you do? Okay, please go, go ahead. What would you do? And interact with ChatGPT so as you collect the data, so as then you analyze, so as the idea to uh, sometimes um, ChatGPT also generative AI uh, provides insights or ideas to go further, for example. I would like to remind you, ChatGPT is just a tool. It will help you explore generate ideas, refine your approach, of course. But it's not your answer machine. That is to say, you can take aspiration, but you must verify the accuracy. This is your work. It's not ChatGPT's work. You are accountable. Our mission is to train our students to become decision makers. And as decision makers uh, in the top leading uh, companies uh, uh, quite soon, uh, our students, uh, so they will uh, use uh, AI. So uh, this is really our role, our mission, uh, to learn them how to use uh, this AI and, uh, and also to open uh, uh, their mind to these uh, technologies uh, and responsibility also uh, with uh, using the AI technologies tools. I think the biggest part is like your professor won't like others professor like if you use ChatGPT, I will use like a ChatGPT detector to detect it and regard it as cheating. He won't see, see it in, in this way. He would like for kind of like for our professor Louis Davy, he give us like a certain topics that really like hard topics for us to choose and you can choose the topic between them. He will tell you it's better you use ChatGPT because you can have a better presentation uh, in the course and probably you will get better scores. So it's kind of a way to guide you how to use it. For this presentation, we use ChatGDP to help us generate it because it's very complicated uh, theory. It's like non-invasive, half-invasive, and fully invasive. Zhao is a student in my course, and uh, she had to work with uh, some uh, of his, uh, her classmates uh, to prepare a brief for an emerging technology. Of course, as it's an emerging technology, we all need to learn, and it was part of the course assignments so that each group learns something on an emerging field. And now, of course, with generative AI, it was a great way for the students to 
leverage the technology. Of course, they have been trained on how to use it. We're using generative AI as a learning tool in that setting. It's a new way of teaching because some things that were previously impossible are now possible in class. The students can do much more yeah. in a shorter time, so we're raising a bit the bar for our expectations in such type of setting. My professor Louis Davy, he taught us about a uh, course called like uh, digital transformation in organization, uh, telling us how AI is, is reshaping the business. So for most of the topics, we're using ChatGPT to help us to present the ideas, explore the applications and the current challenge. So it's your turn now. It's your turn meaning, first, you're going to examine the, the Excel file. You will build in group, working together, discussing, brainstorming, what would be the best way to achieve this mission. You will use ChatGPT 4.0. To do so, first, you will, with your words, you will, of course, communicate, discuss with ChatGPT, describe first the file in your own words, of course, uh, we have variants uh, in the uh, heterogeneity uh, in the students. Uh, some they know very well, uh, for example, statistics, others uh, they do not. Uh, so they don't have exactly the same level. And uh, with uh, using uh, generative AI, they can adapt their own prompt uh, and they will get the answer, uh, which will be related with their level of knowledge. Uh, so as they, they can learn uh, all together and, uh, and get achieve uh, the, uh, the objective that we have, uh, the mission that we, we, we had set students working in groups, as you can see, uh, together on uh, some Excel, an Excel file uh, with data. And I provided to the students uh, some data. And then uh, they use uh, a chat GPT uh, to analyze this data. We don't need to use any more of a statistical uh, software. With chat GPT, with their own words, uh, they can get some insights uh, and robust uh, statistics. So the idea is to discuss with chat GPT uh, to find the answer and uh, making a decision as managers. You know what? Just ask ChatGPT how can we interpret these results and then read it. Of course, you should then understand the explanation by okay. ChatGPT, but use ChatGPT. I have used ChatGPT for one year. From the beginning, I'm really dependent on ChatGPT, and later I realized how to use it to develop my own ideas. Otherwise, like the prompt that you give, there is no big difference from your classmates they give to their, uh, their ChatGPT, then the output would be the same. So later I realized um, probably I could like do some also ChatGPT to help, help me do some background search and I will get different subtopics. And then I go deeper to different subtopics. I will have my own thinking on the subtopics and I go deeper, ask follow-up questions. And then in this way, you can also ChatGPT give you more inspirations. When preparing for my interview, I always ask like for all of the companies I don't know them at the beginning, and after I do a lot of research, I always ask like a deeper question. Then I get the full comprehension about the role, the company. That's another way like ChatGPT helped me to prepare the interview well, and also I think extend my creativity. Not only waiting how to think about the prompt, but also like how to cooperate with AI tools. Right now, I'm writing a blog for my Chinese social media, helping ESCP Chinese students know what is happening around the recently in ESCP. My topic is about like uh, how Ch how students in ESCP using ChatGPT Pro Premier Vision provided by uh, ESCP. And now I'm using ChatGPT to help me generate a picture. I don't have so much time for the blog, but I use ChatGPT, it's quite useful. I just give my prompt always structured in this way, like a scenario, like I, w I will post something on the Chinese social media literate note. Could you help me think about a post, uh, the topic on like how to prepare for Germany student visa for Berlin campus, how to prepare for, uh, for the documents in, uh, in France. So I give the topic for the ChatGPT and also tell them, oh, could you give me within 1,000 character and also make the style more interesting, funny, and give me more in interactions with my followers. And I will post on later right now to the Chinese social media.
especially serve the Chinese ESCP alumni and also future students. First of all, the first time I discovered uh, that ChatGPT, you, uh, you could do and make some calculation with ChatGPT, I was really surprised. This is with some students actually who did it first and that I realized that we, we could also use ChatGPT just like a statistical uh, uh, software program. I check, I validated that it was robust and good statistics. This is the case actually because why? When you have a prompt, you just say, for example, I would like you to calculate an average. Okay, good. When the uh, ChatGPT cannot do it and it's not the task, then has been, uh, there's no algorithm actually in ChatGPT to do it. ChatGPT uh, asks in a library, an open source library like Python, uh, with uh, the function to calculate uh, the average and then pick uh, the results uh, and uh, the output uh, actually are provided uh, in ChatGPT but uh, calculated with Python and then you get the results. It changed not everything but uh, much because as you can see we don't spend uh, much time uh, um, with the setup of a uh, software. This is a natural language, meaning that uh, students, uh, they just use their, once again, their own words, like a discussion. If they don't understand something, they can then uh, deep dive into something, just asking uh, ChatGPT, what is it? How uh, I should do? But why are you doing this? Oh, yeah. And then uh, uh, with this discussion, the adaptation to their uh, level, uh, then they, of course, they, they, they construct, they build uh, their uh, critical thinking and their uh, understanding of uh, the yeah. topic. So you ask ChatGPT to ask you difficult questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the questions that I will use in the like, interview. I think this is very useful for the job and also for LinkedIn. Definitely, from my side, it can replace a personal assistant because, you know, uh, what we expect from personal uh, assistant is like uh, he, uh, he or she knows you well and know what you need and give you a very concrete and uh, high quality out outcome. Actually, ChatGPT can do this for you as well. I have replaced actually Google, Google from ChatGPT. Now I don't use Google anymore. Yeah, me too. Also, like for reply email, I always yeah. paste yeah, all of the yeah. email. And the, could you help me reply to the email? Yeah. <laughs> This is uh, really our mission uh, to uh, teach our uh, students uh, to, to learn the, uh, the most innovative uh, and uh, advanced uh, tools that they will use uh, in a couple of months uh, where they will have their first uh, position. <laughs>